These are the five secrets to having the perfect audiophile system. You don't have to do what I do, and that's make a whole bunch of mistakes. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about what I did wrong so that you don't make the same mistakes, just like one of my kids. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We are also running a huge giveaway. When I hit 200,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away all sorts of stuff. Speakers from SVS, speakers from Wharfdale, turntables from U-Turn, turntables from Project. Emotiva is giving away gift cards. Black Ice Audio is giving away tube amps. Q Acoustics is giving away speakers. Cambridge Audio is giving away a streamer and a DAC, the DAC Magic. Just Shelly Labs is giving away two DACs, one of which is currently unreleased. RSL is giving away a huge 12S Speedwoofer. It's going to be awesome. So the only thing you have to do is subscribe. Even if you're subscribed though, you can still enter. The only thing you have to do is fill out the Google form. Follow me on Instagram at Cheap Audio Man. Like this video. Maybe throw a comment down there. One more thing. Did you know that veterans are 1.5 times more likely to commit suicide? September is Suicide Awareness Month. And it's very common to have depression. It's very common to have crazy thoughts. But please, if you're having any crazy thoughts, you can dial 988 and press 1 and talk to somebody about it. I was in the military. I have friends who have struggled with mental health. I've struggled with mental health. And I have friends who have had friends in the military who have committed suicide. And it's a tragedy. Suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. So please, if you're having any thoughts, dial 988, press option 1. I'm also going to link a website in the description where you can text, you can go online and chat with people. But please take care of yourselves. Five secrets of building the perfect audio file system for yourself. Number one, know your budget. I know this is kind of obvious, but you have to understand how much money you're dealing with. Now, in a perfect world, I would say if you can save up $1,000, then you can put together a pretty awesome system and parts of that system can grow with you forever, almost forever, or at least maybe the next 10 years, which means some of those components will stick with you for 10 years. Now, you may have that system and be happy forever, but a lot of the things I talk about are decent. And so I would say you have decent, good, better, best. If you don't have $1,000, don't worry about it. You can still get some very decent products that sound great. And if you're coming from a Bluetooth speaker, then it's gonna sound like the angels singing from heaven. But you, of course, need to know what your budget is. If you have $1,000, I actually recommend you overspend on one of those products. Fill in the rest with products that may be in the decent category or the good category so that you can change them out later to the good, better, or best category. Buy at least one core product. What is a core product? A core product is going to be something that you can live with for the next five to 10 years. An example of a core product would be the Fluence RT85. It is a very good, if not better, product. So by buying something like the Fluence RT85 or one of the new U-Turn turntables, you don't have to worry about the turntable anymore because you already have a really good one. You could have your end game turntable already. Okay. So now you've allotted maybe half of your budget to that core product. It also could be a DAC, something like the Jashelli Labs J2, the AKM socketed version, really any of the J2s. And that comes in around $300, $350. So now you don't have to worry about your DAC for the next 10 years. Could be something like the Emotiva A2, which is a very good two-channel power amplifier. That comes in around $500. 
So now you have a solid power amplifier that's gonna last you five, 10, maybe even 20 years. The point of a core product is basically you have something to build around. And I wouldn't make your core product your speakers. I would keep it as either a source or an amplification. Another good core product could be a subwoofer, something from RSL or SVS. If you have the room, the 12S, the Speedwoofer, crazy. Now it's pretty expensive. It's like seven or $800. But the 10 inch version is right around $450. If you buy the Speedwoofer 10S, you don't need another sub. And as long as that thing stays together, you could use that sub for the next 20 years. So that would be another example of a core product. Could be a phono preamp. If you spend three, four, five hundred dollars on a phono preamp, chances are you're never gonna have to change your phono preamp again. Obviously, depending upon what you get. But I have a project two box, what is this, S2? It's $500, but like, I'm never probably gonna buy another phono preamp again. This is it for me. So if you're really into vinyl, spending a larger portion of your budget on a core product is going to actually save you a bunch of money in the long run. Don't make lateral moves. What is a lateral move? A lateral move is going from one product that may be in the good category to another product in the good category. If you want to basically build a system out that continues to get better, continues to bring you more joy, then you wanna go from the decent category up to the good category, or from the good category up to the better category, or from the better category up to the best category. Now, just because something costs more money doesn't mean that it is better. So you still have to do your research. But going from something like a ELAC debut reference, which comes in around $500, to something like the PSB Imagine XB that comes in around $500, and those speakers sound kind of similar, it's not probably the best move. You may want to go up to something like the Bucard S400 Mark II, which also has a similar vibe in sound sonic characteristics. If you have an Emotiva A2, then you probably don't wanna go over to the Monolith M2100X, which comes in around the same price. Maybe you wanna step up to the XPA Gen 3, which I actually, I, highly recommend. That's one of the best amplifiers out there. Or the DR2 from Emotiva. Point being is don't go from one product to another product in the same price range because usually it's in the same category as far as decent, good, better, best. So don't get caught up on a new product that just comes out if it's in the same price category or if it's in the same performance category as one of the other products that you have. Because fundamentally, you're just gonna be kind of staying in the same pond, just getting on a different lily pad. If you keep making lateral moves, you wanna jump into the boat and go down the river into the ocean of audiophile yumminess. Have aspirational products in mind. What does that mean? Could mean Wilson speakers, Focal speakers. Could be a MoFi turntable. Could mean a Macintosh amplifier. Even if you can't afford it now, if you have something, put it up on your vision board because someday you will be able to afford it. Don't start making concessions before you can get that product. What I mean by that is if you want a certain speaker, if you want a Klipsch RP8000F speaker, Mark II, don't go buy the step down Klipsch just because you can and you can afford it. Don't buy something to fill the void of something that you actually want. Stick with where you're at. Stick within that category that you're in and don't spend money on something that you actually don't want because you want something else. Again, vision board, put it up there. We're always going to be confined to our budget. Most of the time you can sell things on the used market and get money back towards your new purchases. But sometimes, especially a lot of the very affordable class D stuff that I talk about on this channel, don't really have much value. 
And that's something else you want to consider. There's nothing wrong with buying that stuff. It sounds very good and punches way above its weight class. But if you're on the road, if you have a final destination in mind of higher end products, you may want to start off with more affordable gear from places like Cambridge Audio or Yamaha or Marantz instead of going ultra cheap on the amplification from Aima or Faziati or stuff. I'm not saying that that stuff is bad at all. I'm saying if you have a long-term journey in mind where you wanna keep getting a better and better and better system, you're probably gonna get more money if you go with something from Denon or Marantz than if you go with something from Aima or Fazi Audio. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> Be patient. I know when you get into a new hobby, the tendency is to just buy, 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 buy. You get super excited and I get it, I'm there. I have that problem with watches. By the way, I do have another channel, it's called The Cheap Watchman, where I talk about high value watches. I'll link it in the description. If you're at all into wrist watches, then you may wanna check out that channel as well. Thank you. Anyway, be patient. Enjoy what you have and try to squelch that desire to go out and buy more and more and more and more. Instead, listen to more music. With digital streaming services, you have the opportunity to pretty much listen to everything, everything, every recording known to man. Of course, there's gonna be some outliers, but for the most part, you can listen to the entire Beatles discography or Led Zeppelin or the Ramones, and you can do it for free basically and if you want to try out different streaming services you can check out title i'll have a link in the description you can sign up for a free trial you can also sign up for amazon music i'll have a link in the description there if you sign up i do get a couple of bucks even if you quit but you can try out different types of music services and see what you like the takeaway here is just to sit back and enjoy more music and discover more music on whatever system you have right now. Because although we're gearheads, this is really about the music. So put some boundaries on yourself. I am not going to buy something for the next two months, three months, four months, whatever it is. And you can use that time to listen to more music and then research what you're looking to buy anyway. Show some restraint, a little delayed gratification and It'll give you a chance to save up more money and get something that maybe is in a category above where you're currently at. So if you enjoyed this video, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio. Every Sunday night, we have patron only Zooms, patron only Discord, patron only Facebook group. You can also use the links in the description, although I didn't really talk about any products here. You can shop on Amazon, Crutchfield, some other places. Everything that you buy, I will get a commission on. So it's a great way to support the channel, but it doesn't cost you any more. You can also buy me a cup of coffee down at the bottom of the video. There's a thanks button. Click on it. Put a little money in the tip jar, but don't feel compelled to buy me anything. So don't binge watch anything on Netflix or Hulu. Binge listen, maybe through your new system that you're growing and adding to over time and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the cheap audio man.